Johnny Jans here once again at Universal Studios and I'm absorbing what little sunlight I have left as I head inside. Why don't you come head in with me and we're gonna go do some. Hand ring around. And there's just something about seeing the skyline of Islands of Adventure as the sun is setting behind it that just looks magical. I just love the way that looks. See the Hulk just beyond the trees there. And the spire of the, I guess it's the lighthouse. Miles of Adventure. What's at the top of the lighthouse? A light. Oh, that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Making my way up to the gate, it looks like a red fence has appeared, some work walls. Maybe they're doing some refurbishment work here on the gate. But that wasn't here. And now it is. Welcome everybody to Universal tonight. Johnny Jan's coming to you from inside Marvel Superhero Island. And this is day eight of this thing that I am doing. So while we're here at Marvel Superhero Island today, I wanted to bring you along to check out the Storm Force Excelatron. I just want to point out the cool flashing strobes. That's how you know there's an extreme teacup ride here because it's flashing. It's even got an express ed entrance, but the ride really never drops much over 15 minutes or less. You never really need express for this ride, it seems. And here we go. The Storm Force Accelotron is powering up right now. You can see the strobes. It's a great place to potentially have a seizure if you're not careful. If strobes bother you, this is not for you. But look, they're spinning around and around and it is getting crazy. It's a lot more intense when you're on the ride and you're spinning and it whips you. You can see the X cups. Oh, there's a flash of lightning right there. This is a wild storm, folks. This is Professor X. It is like a bunch of teacups on acid. That's what's going on right now. You're listening to the audio again, it turns out what Storm wants you to do is to turn that wheel as fast as possible, causing the X cup to spin so it powers the Accelotron. So if you want to defeat Magneto, you gotta spin that thing up to 11. Remember that, kids. Your parents will love it. As much as I love Marvel Superhero Island, I love it even more at night because everything's lit up and like you can see the details on the sign. It just looks really cool. Definitely a whole different perspective if you come here. And nothing beats seeing the Hulk at night as it barrels around. It's gonna come right out of this tunnel. You just, you can't beat that. Here it comes. Wow. It's always a good shot. Gotta stop just to watch the Hulk. As always. The Hulk itself looks even cooler with those green lights reflecting on the track right there as it goes around. Well, after just staring at it so much, I figured I just had to go take a ride on the Hulk. And it was a night ride. Love it in the dark. I think it's even better. This time, yesterday I was in the front row, but this time I was in the back row. I highly re recommend the front row or toward the front. Oh, he's angry. I recommend toward the front because the back row, serious headbanging going on. Definitely banged my head a lot of the seats. Front row, a lot more smoother it was yesterday. But still a great ride. I still had a lot of fun with it. And a night ride is always a must do. Do your impression of the Hulk, what he sounds like. <laughs> that is like what the Hulk sounds like. Here he comes. There's the cafe four lit up in all its glory. The human torch, you can see his fire as he takes off over here by the sign. Isn't that cool? So many neat things to look at 
and it all just comes to life at night. Professor Xavier, he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? Check out the kids here. They're in the Fantastic Four mobile, and it is strobing tonight. Just looking all action-packed and good right here by the Kingpin's Arcade. Kingpin just be throwing the money out in the streets. I feel like that's what they want you to do when you walk in the arcade. It's just wham, coins right at the machine. I'm checking out Wolverine, looking awesome at night too. The, the green behind his claws, looking really good. There's a hobgoblin up there. He's trying to escape from Spider-Man. Looks like he dropped, look, he dropped a pumpkin bomb right there. And how about menacing? Dr. Doom's Fearfall looks pretty freaky at night. He's just inviting you to come in to finish his ultimate plan to defeat the Fantastic Four back there. Of course, out of all the attractions, you just can't beat Spider-Man. I mean, when he jumps on that car and he's like, hey, what are you doing here? You know you're in for a good time hanging out with him. And he's looking pretty good at night right now. The colors. This is definitely the most lively area out of them all, the most colorful, especially at night. Maybe the most photogenic. You got Electro. Look, he's charging up. He's charging up his attacks. There's Storm. There it is, just fresh off the Accelitron. It looks like we saved the day because we got her the power she needs. You think she blasts Magneto? I hope so, let's go check. Oh, look at this. See, the story complete. Storm powered up the Accelitron and now she used it to blast Magneto and knock him all the way down right here to plan his revenge. My gosh, I never knew that really told the story of the Accelitron. And you know what? I feel like I was a part of that story tonight because I helped Storm get her power to defeat Magneto. So good job and good job to you too because you all came along with me on that. All right, so I gave in. Back at Camp Jurassic, Junior Jans is here, so you know what that means? It's time for some more Jurassic stairs. Told you, I'm gonna get in shape. Maybe, or I'm gonna die, I don't know. One of the two is gonna happen. All right, climbing Jurassic stairs. Oh, it seems brighter. Nope, nope. Oh, oh. now it's still hard. I was like, I felt more motivated. I'm like, let's, let's do it. See, I think I'm developing the secret too. If you kick off the wall with your foot, it boosts you up a little bit. And I got up them a lot faster. See, I'm getting stronger. I lost my kids though. Kids, where are you? And here's the Jurassic bench. Wow, I just did Jurassic ch stairs like a champ. A few more weeks of this, I'm gonna be ready. For what, I don't know. Uh, I'm back in the stairs. I re realized there was actually more stairs to do. That's why I couldn't find the kids because they went higher. Ow. No, we went down. And we went they down. went down and up and we're going up now. And it's a lot higher than I remember. And now, now I'm starting to feel that fatigue. Hey. Any, hang on, any confidence hey. I had. Hey, there's dinosaurs. Okay, there's hey. dinosaurs. Because we're in Jurassic Park. Um, any oh, confidence I seem to have about doing this and being good at it is slowly fading. Well, there it is, folks. A fun ride on the Storm Force Accelitron. Even got to get a night ride in on the Incredible Hulk roller coaster. So I say that was a good time here at Isles of Adventure and Marvel Superheroes Island. But that's going to do it for me. As always, I'm Johnny Jans, and I'm going to catch you out there next time, maybe here at Universal. Hand ring around! And I finish my challenge with a, with a trip down the slide. Oh my goodness! Ah. Ow, 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 ow. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm not stuck. I'm not stuck. Now I'm stuck again. Oh, I'm not stuck. Oh, ow, ow. Oh. Oh, God. Wow.
Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. If you like my videos, feel free to click that like button and then take it to the next level by hitting that subscribe button if you want to watch me do more drastic stairs and slides and junk here around Universal. Oh my.